the type of person that really get with a person who got some type of fame and she stick with him. So for you to really like choose this man over your child, even if she lying or not, you're supposed to be rocking with your child to the bone. So they're texting, they're texting, they're texting, they're texting right now saying that your daughter had the same story. You left your daughter. What happened? No, I did not leave my daughter. Oh. She'll oh. tell you, I was trying to join when she was on there. She'll tell you, I did not leave my daughter. Oh. My daughter came with me. He was trying to get, he was giving them girls to rock that night for a sweet 16 party. He kept giving them liquor. I took the bottle out of my daughter's hand and slammed it on the real table. So I did not leave my daughter oh. that night. She did oh. not stay. And that was the reason that she did not stay. Because we kept getting mad with Maria. Maria thought it was funny at one time. Monique was sitting right next to me. So it's it's a bunch of bullshit that they got going on. It's all until it just get proven right. Like, because she not lying. There's too many people coming out with it. And they've been coming out with it. Been coming out with it. Like, that shit ain't no game. It's, it's really just not no game. And it's crazy. It's crazy because, like, you really still, three years later, three years later, you still screaming the same thing. When you had friends that actually came out, have young teen daughters, and told you this. This man stopped on the school bus and was talking to a little girl. Like, you never once thought after your daughter taught you this, you had told you this, you have another little girl. You never once thought in your mind that he might be touching your daughter. Like, ain't not. Not one time Maria actually took her side, but you ran and had her to go take a, a lie detector test at the same place where you went. You passed up six, seven people that do it, and you went way out there where y'all went. Like, ain't nobody believing them. Like, you don't see no wrong in that Maria talking to the daddy before she talks to the daddy. Like, y'all can't be serious right now. This girl only came on here just for, so people could see she not lying because Maria was talking. How as a mother you send a video of your daughter your underage daughter whether she having sex or not to everybody she's having sex on this video how do you send that out she got receipts of that most of the stuff she's saying i seen it. like most of the receipts and everything i seen it even the people that's even saying the bitch line like the close friends of her of, of maria's like People sending me screenshots of her close friends calling her own daughter a bitch, saying a bitch lying and all of this. Like, like how you even allow your friends to do that over a man who probably going to get stressed the fuck out and leave you anyway because he can't deal with it. Then for him to join a live and then get off of them. Then afterwards, he go post a picture, the same one that she cropped and put ready. What you ready for? Like, everybody telling their little story everybody telling their stories but we trying to we as the people we trying to see what you're ready for and why maria not speaking out if it's tr if it's not true then you're gonna get on here and you're gonna say it because y'all on y'all on social media all day every day what's holding you up why y'all not on the scene no more why y'all don't have no proof how do you go down there and put a charge on your on your daughter because she is saying something about a man you married now you forcing her to go sit here and file charges on you because you sent out your kid video. You think that shit cool, Keith? Like, for real? Yes. Fuck no. Even if the rape, let's just say she lying about the rape. Let's just say that. As a mother or a father, you will never sit here and send out your child's video. How did he see it first? Why is, as, as a stepfather, that you're not even married yet? Why are you even going in my daughter's phone? Let alone in a bathroom while she's on the toilet. Because in order to use the bathroom, you have to pull your drawers down. So her privacy is open. In the bathroom when you close the door, it's private. So you not. That nigga not doing none of that. And she allowing it. Just like she said, hey, how in the fuck do you not ask me how I seen this before me? Like, how did you see it before Maria? Why she don't have a problem with that? That's the question they need to be asked. Because maybe back then, she could have caught some weird shit that he was doing. Who gives a 16-year-old Sarah? Like, as an adult, you really sitting here giving it to her. 16, getting them liquored up, trying to pick one. Because he had options that fucking night. Instead of him looking at his soon-to-be wife, he looking at them. And I'm looking at him. We all sitting outside, skip winders off inside. Kiara told me, a little, like, probably like a week ago, that he wandered off in the room and was sneaking them drinks while we was outside. Because you couldn't smoke weed in Maria's house. And I smoke, but he, 
even before this, nobody knew nothing about this shit. Nobody had no type of knowledge that Skip was a weirdo, was was a pedophile like that. Nobody knew this. This is why we grew up with Maria. We went to school with Maria. We knew Maria from school. We also knew Maria wanted the fame, the fashion, the money because of where she comes from. I get that. Anybody, everybody wants that. But to like really talk down on your daughter and shit like that, that's whack as fuck to me. You supposed to be right there to believe her. And when she, if you do find out that she lying, then you deal with it from there. But I just don't feel like you married this man two months later. She can't cross the door cell. She came out of you. This nigga was in nowhere around then. So wait, you're not talking about, you talk, you're not talking about Monique. We talking about Maria. That's Ramona. That's Maria. You right, right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know Ramon. Cause they, that's that's who y'all know. Cause they're dragging, they're they dragging Missy in, and Missy's like, "What she got to do with it?" It's just like you know, you're a friend. Like I'm your, I'll say I'm your friend. When we outside, we having fun. I'm your friend. When we get around each other, we having fun. But when y'all inside behind closed doors, I don't know what's going on. All I know is what you tell me. Yeah, because so I'm they, telling you, like, so they can't stop blaming way. people who they see friends with people. You know what I'm saying? Like Skip is a businessman. Not take off, but Skip is a businessman. Skip that own clubs. I mean, you know, Skip is doing is a business. I know Skip in the streets business. I don't know Skip like no his business. Until, you know what I'm saying? Now, so it's like you're piecing it together. You putting up, you know, you right you put the pieces together. But my whole thing is like, why she ain't never come to social media like she do for everything else? You selling your pieces on social media? You that's where you at. Your name is on social media. If your daughter is saying all of this, why would you not be on social media to address it? You changed your phone numbers. You're not talking to her at all. Like that girl have questions. At least give her a conversation. That's why she on social media because she can't talk to her mama. So that's what Monique? What Monique you talking about? Her best friend. Which one? Oh, she got is it another one. It's a, another the the sharp money. The one who always buy a house. I don't know how many money she know. Not the realtor. No, not the realtor. All right, cause see that's. <laughs> oh, so no, we all know who that is. Oh Lord, but, talking about Missy. That's why no, I keep saying Missy. Then, they they drug Missy into it too. Yeah, cause that's I saw them up there sitting there picture Monique in it, and Missy was like, "Wait, what's going on?" Like, Missy don't know nothing about that. So, so, I'm, so I'm happy you're saying it's another Mon Monique. No, it's another Monique, which, I mean, Monique really don't have nothing to really do with it. Right. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I just would have took a little bit more into believing my child. That's basically all I'm saying. Like, I'm just happy that my daughter didn't stay. Like, that's that's my biggest thing. She didn't stay. And then after that, like, even she went to telling me stories about that shit. And I'm just like, how the fuck do you keep this in? You know, because we wouldn't know. Because all we know is how Maria is. Maria outgoing. Maria this. She a good mother. Like, just like her daughter said. You can't really say nothing bad about her except now. Like, you got a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. Then you have the ones that sit there and just like, they on the comments right now. Oh, here she go again. This, that, and the other. But put, if y'all don't believe them, and y'all think that it's, it's a lie and it's not true, put your daughter on the bus with Skip for a day. And trust the fact that he just gonna take him around the city. That's that's what you do. At the end of the day, if it is a lie, then she gotta deal with that. Right. She gotta deal with that. But I'm gonna believe my daughter to the fullest. Right. Until it's proven not, that it's not. But all these little girls not gonna come out and just be saying that. Ain't nobody want no motherfucking 15 minutes of fame. Nobody give a fuck about that. This shit ain't making nobody no money. Right. These girls feel comfortable because that's that's Maria's. <laughs> That nigga don't clear it up. Cause guess what? Oh, I'm on live. Big request. Nigga was handy. So I know, listen, listen. I know you heated. I, you, this, this, no, this I'm big old heated. This, 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 but the girl, because, she, you know, she cleared that shit up, though. Yeah, she cleared that up. But these for the, these bump bitches keep mentioning my wife name. Keep our name out your fucking mouth. Period. Key, you know I almost rock like this, bro. Right, I know, I know. But at, at the end of the day, I say what I say and I stand on that shit. Ten toes. I'm going to die behind that. And I'm going to die behind my respect. Fact. So I think the problem, I think the, pro the problem, well, ain't no thing. The problem is, I guess people fishing because the story going out, they fishing. So they see you 
they seen y'all on a picture of y'all friends. You don't know, like I say, people right. know what's going on in people's house. But they see Fair. that, they see y'all beat, they see y'all out in the sections buying bottles, they see that. So, oh, they know what's going on too, so they're guilty. And they, that's not even like that. But that's how I'm just saying, that's how people, that's how people operate. And I know Fair. that. Look, like but that. like I said, so whenever this case over, I don't have nothing to say. Like, it'll all come out on some real nigga shit. Like, that's what it is. Right. Until fucking somebody go to jail or however it go, somebody get convicted, that's when I make my motherfucking decision as a man. Because guess right. what? I ain't fucking with no nigga that's molesting shit. Right. We gonna clear that up right now. Like, real nigga yeah. shit. If you molest woo to woo, you'll molest any fucking body. Yeah. You got we just know, so I know that. And I'm Zoo Boy Shawnee. Oh, Monique, they know that. Every, the whole city know that. Monique fucking Marshall. Big relative, big shit. Big key, so, bitch, you know what she was called. She was calling me saying, why they send my picture around? But I understand. But that's just how social media operates. And you know what I'm saying? That's just that's how That's cool. And that's cool, but I'm here to address shit. Like, that's cool, y'all. Yeah, fuck, we, we fuck with each other. Right. Like, that's what it is, bro. I ain't no bitch-ass nigga till I... Can't hear you. You know what I mean? Yeah. About, about what we call it, but my choice is, at the end of the day, bro, like, when the shit hit the fan, when shit all the way come out, I'm a real nigga. I'm gonna make my my fucking decision on the right thing I should do. Right. I don't fuck with no nigga that's molesting fucking kids, bro. Facts. I can't trust no nigga. I don't fuck with predators, rapists, none of that. That ain't even, no key. Uh, no key. You been, been on me, nigga. How long you been on me? Cause you was going to fantasy. Big, I mean, Livingston. Fantasy. <laughs> key. Where I was at, key. Yeah, I know. I, right. I know. I know. But I just, it's just, it's just, it was, it's just, that's just how social media, I mean, we all on social media. Come on now, we all on social media. I just don't like out, that message. Come out, you, hear shit, about, bro. Listen, you hear something about Joe Blow on the corner. Nigga, you going on Joe Blow page, you going to look at who Joe Blow mom is, old lady is. That's just, that's right. just how it is. And there's no, they see y'all in the street, y'all in sections, y'all buying bottles, y'all buying all these fucking foreign cars. Y'all, y'all got these big old houses, they see that. Or you you know what? They best friends. They never say that y'all business partners. That's just how social media is, and y'all should know that. But I know where your but name get caught up in some fucked up shit. Everybody I know how social. Just, look, I, I know how social media roll. Right. Hell, it be on there because I know one thing. I ain't with the cabin. I don't do that whole shit on social media. Like that's not me. I'm a under under the radar nigga. Been right. like that my whole life. But I understand social media. Shit get messy. I'm not that nigga. My wife, Monique Marshall, is not that person. Right. To clear the L, that's what it's hitting for. That's what it is. Real nigga shit. But I just be wanting, like, like I said, I understand social media, but none of y'all bitches gonna come run down on me and, 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 and pop your shit. Yeah. I, you, keep, you know me. Know. Yeah, it, it'll get ugly quick. Fact. Behind that? I'm riding. I'm a slide. But yeah, we just trying to clear. We just trying to clear. That's none of us ain't gonna do. I'm gonna tap it with you, bro. All right. What? See, yo, see that's how. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. That's how I used to be. Like that's just how shit go. That's just how shit go. You run somebody out on social media. It is what it is. You can block. I get to two people on social media all the time. If I block that person. By right, the friend go come. I block that friend. The next friend go come. That's just how I go. And they said a long time ago, you know how that shit go by the streets. We, at the end of the day, we're all from the streets at this point on social media. You're guilty by association. And that's just how people go judge you. Because when it's fuck you, it's fuck your best friend too. And that's just how it is. And in all actuality, it don't go like that. Because I can sit down all day and tell you me and Miami or me and Nunny or me and D-Roy or me and whoever, me and Corey, me and Keith or whoever, I've been fucking with these people 20 plus years, but I can't tell you what's going on in their house like that. Like, I can't tell you what's going on in the people's house like that. That's just crazy. That's just how, that's just how people operate. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just what it is.
I don't know just how, what it is. And you could, if it's about money, if it's about pleasurable shit, good shit, yeah, bring me up, put me in that. If it's a insurance claim, put me in it. But when it's something negative and the jail is involved and the police and all this, please don't mention my name. I just told y'all, they see that the police and the FBI's and all that was in it. That's why I never DM'd her. I ain't never DM'd her. I ain't never talk. I don't want to put my name nowhere up in that. So when the detectives in the F, because they said the FBI could come looking at you, you don't even know what's going on. They said the FBI, if you follow you, sitting in your house with cameras, you never know what's going on. That's why I ain't DM nobody. I ain't text nobody. I can't do it. I ain't going to the penitentiary. You got to know that. That's where the biggest people at. Them people eat all kind of bread and tuna fish, green tuna fish. I'm not going up in there. I ain't DM nobody. You got to know that. I ain't DM nobody. Now, I'm here to listen like everybody else. What's up? Now, you can call it what you want. I'm letting you know I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't going to jail. I don't know what's going on. They could check this dick. I ain't had sex in two years. <laughs> Hold I ain't play with nobody. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. I don't get up here, but I just want to say this. Right. I feel like y'all have favoritism in that city. Just because people got money or they own or they pop it, this is a child involved. Right. He didn't know. I don't even know none of these people. This man is getting on this live basically trying to say he's standing on his side until he's proven guilty. If he had daughter this shit would have been a whole different story y'all do too much favoritism in that city i understand this your show you know you're doing your thing you make your money I oh no everybody have their opinion say what you gotta I'm say just, man. I'm, I'm just saying that you be on here you do what you do but you do have your little favoritism some sometimes just oh, yeah, have my opinion. oh yeah keep you know me it don't matter who know who them people is out of line and I feel like they're trying to stand on the people's side. Just how Monique, whoever she is, she's still going to be in that girl face. Maria face is still being friends. How the fuck you still want to sit with another fucking woman? She ain't been there for her own child. I don't think that, that shit is funny or a game. And he's sitting up here trying to flex in front. Oh, you know me, this and that and the third. When the child ain't been molested. Why do y'all play so much in that city like that? I don't find nothing funny. I don't give a fuck if y'all got a million dollars. That little girl said she was molested in that day. Now, if that was his child, he'll feel some type of fucking way. It wouldn't be no if, ands, or buts. The money is the devil. And y'all be letting that money use y'all for real okay, in so the listen. wrong way. So listen. Okay, tell me something. You finish? Something. I'm well, no, I'm about to ask you something. So just, just hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. if it was your child, if it mm -hmm. was your child in mm -hmm. your situation, does... Mm -hmm. Because when I ended the live, they said there was 29,000 people on there, meaning then it came in and go, but at the end of the live, there were 29,000 people on there. Okay. Is it any okay. of those 29,000 people business of what you got going on in your house? Let's be logical about the situation. If you, it was you in them shoes and it was your child and your man, what does anybody, what does any of us 29,000 people got to do with going on inside of your house? Let's start there first. What, what what do you mean? What they what people you talking if about? If your daughter, if it was you in them people's shoes, and it was your daughter saying that she got molested and you went with the nigga, mm -hmm. is it any of our business what you got oh, going you, on? You saying if I was the mother? If you was in that, that situation, child, if you was the if you was the mother of the girl, would any of us have any business anything to do with your business? Of, is it any of our oh, business? First of all, Keith, it would never even got to social media. If it would have got to social media, it's because I would have put it on there to let everybody know this nigga been molesting my child. And then if right. other ac 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 accusations was coming out before that, I would have definitely believed my child. Okay. Ain't no way. Okay, going off the, we're not, I understand that point. I understand the parent. I understand right. what you're saying about so, that. I'm saying, okay. so how could you, you, it seems like you're trying to blame everybody else who's, Coming up here, I'm not. It. I'm Listen. not blaming everybody else. That's what I'm not doing. I'm not blaming. I think everybody you're trying else. to blame the people who's coming up with an opinion. I'm not like everybody's not opinion is your people. opinion. I'm not blaming. I understand your feelings. Is in, your feelings is in it. Your feelings is in it. You are emotional right now about their situation. Yeah. I get it. 
But you can't get mad over somebody else's opinion. Y'all really get on my nerves with the social media, son. Y'all, T, you just sat on the live with the little girl when she was telling you that you even like we believe her. Like you know, this girl been telling this story felt, so yeah, many times over and over again. Okay. I understand, you know, them people don't have nothing to do with it, but you basically just got up here and said, all right, I'm basically, all right, until on his side, until he's proven guilty. That is foolish to me. I don't give a fuck if I know you 20, 30, 40, 50 years. If you being accused by multiple little girls of being molested, ain't no way I'm not to sit up here and be like, oh, them little girls lying. I'm gonna wait around until he's proven guilty. So then you're gonna be like, fuck the nigga once he go to jail. That's good enough for you? What if that was your child, though? Don't know. I don't care. We probably do a lot of things in this world, but one thing we don't do is play by no motherfucking kids. That's what we I don't agree. do. And that little I girl totally is agree. crying out for her mama, and people on here talking about, oh, you know me, you know this. No, baby, we can never know who you really is. You never know. You don't never truly know who a person is. You never gonna know that person. You could sleep. I slept on the side of motherfucker for six years, and they did me dirty. You don't never really know people like that i just don't appreciate how you would get on there with him and then kiki yeah i know i know how social media be woo 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 and all that you gotta pick a side sometimes key you but can't no, no. always be on well, first of all, side. Well, see that, first of all I'm saying, hold up. or ray listen see, ray I listen like you, i love you, you too, and i like you but at this point i feel like you're starting to sound stupid i ain't got to pick a side because i don't to be honest i don't I have to pick a side sounding stupid because I'm not I don't have to stupid. pick a side. Why should I have to pick a side about somebody else's exactly What I'm saying like is, all the man was saying was, listen, all the man was saying was, they're sending his picture around social media about that's his mm -hmm. friend and they're all right. wrong. How am I wrong mm -hmm. by, by that being my friend? We, nobody knows what's Please. going on inside their house okay. until now. That's okay. all they were saying. Okay. Okay. I understand what you're saying. But you do do your little smirks and your kikis and your laughs and shit when you be talking. Yeah, you crazy yes, too, man. He, yes, yeah, you, you crazy. be laughing. You was just laughing with him on the line. Yeah, because he's trying to clear himself of something that he, he he's. They're saying that in so many words he's guilty by association. The fuck if you if you was a murderer, I'm not just because I'm a friend of yours, that's because I'm a murderer. He, you I'm get not it? Saying, I'm not saying the man is guilty by association. I'm saying. Girl, bye, fuck, bye, bye, fuck, bye, bye. At the end of the motherfucking day, like I fucking say, if a motherfucker, a murderer, a rapist, whatever the fuck they are, if we friends, if it is what it is, I don't know what the fuck you got going on. Now, if I find out you out here murdering, well, you know what? Let me step the fuck back. Because, bitch, I don't want to get caught up in it. I ain't going to jail. So if it was me, and then saying you done raped this one, or you done murdered that one, me be me, I'm going to step the fuck back. Because I ain't got nothing to do with it. But why the fuck would they... Why would they implicate innocent people? Just because I'm cool with you, bitch, don't mean that I'm cool with the fuck you doing. You get it? It's the minute I got a lot of friends. My friends just going to the mall and steal their ass off. Bitch, when they go in the mall and steal, they're going that way. I'm going to go the other motherfucker way. You can't crucify me to the cross for trying to clear my name. Just because my friend a thief or my friend do fraud don't mean he is a thief to keep do fraud. That's all I'm saying. So just because that man came up here and said what he said about Keith, you know me, yeah, I know you. I know you got daughters, and I know you don't play like that. Period. Oh, that's just what it is. That's all the people say. Ain't nobody got to pick no side. I got to pick a side. Why the fuck I got to pick a side? I don't have to pick no side. I'm past my opinion. Like, everybody else go past their opinion. Next, what's up? The fuck? Girl, you got, you out of your, you now you out of your body, fat. Go smoke one for me, too. What's up? The smirk. Oh, now it's a smirk. So now, because I made a smirk, yeah, because I was low. The fuck? I ain't gonna be long. I just basically came to see. The feds picked up what? Lucy because of the lies. So they definitely calling you to the same face. Girl, I don't see, know if the you didn't see the feds that came got Boosie because he was on live and he had a gun in his back. I'm telling you, bitch, they come yeah, and get you, bitch. You want to buy fuck. But nobody wanna hear all that dumb ass shit. The fuck? I'm going to say this is a, um, the amendment. Freedom to motherfucking speech. And I'm going to pass my motherfucking opinion. Nah. Nah, that's just how I go. I know one thing about it. I ain't molested no motherfucking body. I ain't killed nobody. And I walk the forward way. I ain't doing nothing illegal. The fuck? It ain't illegal to come on this bitch and motherfucking talk. What's up? You got to pick a side.
side. I ain't got to pick a side. I ain't got to pick a side. I know I ain't out here raping the fuck, and I am molesting the fuck. The only private part get played with is mine. What's up? <laughs> Bitch, I play with my private part. Now, now, what's up? Yeah, she done aggravated the fuck out of me. She done gave me a motherfucking headache. She gonna sit in there and tell me. What's up? Pick a side. I ain't got to pick a side. Tell a judge and the jury to pick a side. Better yet, instead of fussing with me, you need to go fuss with the NOPD who taking their time. That girl said she reported this a year ago. They ain't did nothing yet. Don't come fuss with me. Go fuss with the police who to do their job. What's up? Let's make it make sense, girl. What's up? Step back. Please get up on for me. Girl, watch out. Please watch out, man. Don't run up on me. What's up? Please, you gave me a headache. I got to go take me one of them Percocet pills. Yeah, you done ran up on me. No, indeed, Lord. What's up? You done ran up on me. Telling me about to pick a side. Pick a side? You got to ask the jury, the judge, and the police to pick that side. Because at the end of the day, that side is what matters. Because keep going to still be here because I ain't touching on nobody. What's up? Let's make it make sense. Please. I'm trying to see what's going on. Uh-uh, y'all acting crazy. Now, now you acting, where you was from, girl? You acting desire dumb on these people live. What's going on? Blood pressure through the roof. Hey, y'all. Keith, they know who I am. Chopper City in the motherfucking ghetto, baby. What's up, y'all? What's up, baby? Keith, listen, Keith, Keith. Listen, Keith, you're not doing nothing wrong. Thank you, thank you. Keith, the thing is, the thing is, though, Keith, you're not letting these people talk, Keith. Let them talk. You're Baby, cutting them off before they prove they burnt, Keith. Ain't nobody with them going to come up here and tell me pick no side. I Keith, no, 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 Keith. Listen, Keith, let them, let them talk, Keith, because they got to get their words out. Everybody have their own opinion. So ain't number to ask All of us got one, Keith. Right. We all us got one. Got one. So what's, yours? one. what's yours, Faye? On that, on that, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Let me tell you something. When it come down to churn, listen to your churn. Turn to your motherfucking churn. Turn to your child. But if you get into another platform and you get ready to talk, Keith, you cutting them off when they judging you. Keith, let them people judge you. Don't be mad when they judge Sir, you, Keith. What are you talking about? I, I'm about to get you Keith, off. Keith, you have a platform. All right, so the people talking. What is you talking about? Everybody came on here talking like you talking. What's up? What's your opinion, girl? What's up, girl? Please. What's up? Keith. I ain't molested. To... Talk to the people who are molested. What's going on? Okay, Keith, let's be real. Keith, let's be real. Majority of majority of us on here have children, Keith. You 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 have you have big kids. Or a big kid. And I ain't got All to right. worry about nothing going on because he going to shoot whoever head off. All head. right. Uh -huh. All right. All right. And All right. If Keith, listen, listen. Keith, Keith. I'm going to get them Keith. off you. We're getting them out of there. Keith, you a dude. Keith, you a dude. We mamas. All right. You so got what's, your, what's your opinion, fat? I ain't saying nothing. What's your opinion, girl? Let the key. You get mad because the girls is saying, listen up, to the girl. Oh. Ask the big mama. Ask the big mama. You not saying nothing. You trying to come on here and crucify me to the cross. Go crucify the female detective next. Girl, the fuck? Why they won't come for me? This not what you want, Faye. The, the batteries is working tonight. What's up? Please leave me alone. I ain't giving them a chance to talk. Everybody come up here and talk. What the fuck? Girl, they going crazy, girl. They need to go smoke them weeds or something. What is up? I'm trying to see what's going on. Let them talk. But what the fuck they doing? Oh, girl, white coffees in. I don't know how right here need to just go sit down and talk to each other or something. I don't know what's going on. Make this about me. I ain't touched nobody. What's going on? I ain't touched a soul. I beat my own meat. What's up? Oh, Lord. What's up, Keith? This Tony Green. Yeah. Tony, listen, it's talking about men molesting. You must have got molested because you a man, you was a man, not you a woman, huh? Yeah. Well, what happened? But you got look, molested Keith, too? I don't know. Wait, wait. I, I got to deal with one molestation at a time, Faye. Listen. Hold, hold up. up. Well, hold up, Faye. Hold up. Come, come back later, girl. Please. They done rubbed you. Now you done turned into a woman. I don't know what's going on. 
Lord, they got a lot of molestation going on. Please. You can't rape the willing. Now they didn't rape you. You fell in love with it. Now you done turned it to one girl. Please, hold up, Tony. I fuck with your green. Hold up, but come back later, man. Please, I gotta deal with one situation at a time. You trying to make the whole blood vessel bust. Please. I don't know what's going on. I fuck with the Tony Green. Don't lie. I fuck with Tony Green. But I can only deal with one molestation at a time. That girl is upset about her molestation. You must have liked your molestation because you'd have been put on a wig and you in a skirt. Now, fuck with you, Tony. Just give me a second. We got to deal with one situation at a time. Please. Oh, Lord. This done get, roll me through them. This done raise my blood pressure to the roof. I'm telling you. I can't do two molestations in one night. I can't even do it. All the molestation that's going on. Mm, 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 mm. This is unbelievable. Yes, it, girl, I just got read my mind. This is unbelievable. Tony was trying, trying to come up here and tell us how she done been touched, but she must have liked it because she didn't put the wig on and the skirt. Yes, she did. I added Skip. Skip got off. I don't think Skip won't come on. I just wish. Don't worry about it, Key. What happened, Faye? Don't worry about it. Uh uh uh. Because uh, uh. I don't want you asking me. I ain't going to ask you, Faye. What you say? You just is because you, you, you're an angry bird tonight. So I don't even, I don't want to. Baby, just say what you got to say, Faye. Because you're, you're bucking on everybody that come up here. So just yeah. ask me listen, now. The, listen, listen, listen. The reason why I ain't molested nobody. I'm adding everybody on here that will come up. If you want to come up here, talk about the situation at hand. Please don't come talk about what keep doing. I beat my own meat. <laughs> now go ahead, man. Say, say your one. Uh-uh. I'm done. I mean, you know, I feel like you shouldn't have talked about talked about that on here. Like you said, you want to say you didn't want to get in that. We shouldn't even talk about it because it's, it's real sensitive. So, What's you know, everybody going to have their own, their own opinion. Correct. So you know, and you know you're gonna get you're gonna turn into Angry Bird and No, 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 let me it. answer, let me ask, let me answer, let me answer a question for you. Let me give you the let me give you the game. I wasn't gonna talk about it. I know. But the, listen, listen, fam. Listen, you got to listen, Linda. <laughs> the young lady, the victim, mm -hmm. she, she was uploading statuses saying oh. he ain't gonna let me come on his platform because he is their friend. I had to let her know. She got the wrong perception. It's nothing like that. Mm. Come up here, fat, and see what you got. That makes sense. You oh, see what I'm saying? So that's, that's who I was I think live people about. Needed to hear that. Now, the other people okay. who was going live about it, I don't know okay. what's going on. Let's that, make, that makes sense now. Yeah. That's so we're going to drop this topic. See, we're not even going to drag this. We're yeah. going to drop this topic, and we're going to talk about well, no, something else. Because... No, man, we died deeper than that. We got the wrestling tonight. We got the roll with the roll. We got 180 people trying to get on this thing. <laughs> So we're going to have to rest to the ground, man. We're going to have to do it. Lord, well, I'm done. Get me out of here. All right, Stan. Yeah, it's over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At this point, at this point, iPad, I mean, iPod, ain't no grease was involved. This had to be talked about because I know one thing. If this ain't get brought up on the live, I already knew. I was getting crucified to the cross. They trying to crucify me now. But I'm going to see what I got to see. See, God couldn't, Jesus couldn't talk when he was on the, on the cross because they had the thorns in his, in his hands and in his head somewhere. I'm going to see what I got to see. You got to know that part. What's up? Now, yeah, don't wrestle me. I ain't got nothing going on. Y'all just want to find a way to put me up in the molestation. I ain't got nothing going on with it. I'm adding everybody. I don't see the leader thing. I'm trying to bring the leader up. But see, y'all, I'm going I'm to bring her up and I'm going to let her know what y'all said about her. See, y'all hold so thick on this motherfucking internet, but I'm going to tell her what the motherfucker y'all said about her. Why? Y'all said y'all want to know why she went live with the girl. 
Why this and why that? Well, I'm going to bring Miss Dolita up here, my mama, Dolita. And I want y'all, everything y'all was DMing me about Dolita, I need y'all to tell Dolita what y'all said about Dolita. Let's start tonight. Let's wrap. See, y'all so fake. Y'all get on the social media, says all kinds of things. Uh-huh. Get on here and tell Dolita what you got to tell Dolita. Let's go there. Let's start there. Uh-huh. I'm going to bring her on up here. Let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about it. I'm way up in motherfucking Baton Rouge going to the R&B night. And they were saying, Dolita, give it up. Why is Dolita up there? Say what the fuck y'all were saying. Now let's call a spade a spade, bitch. And one thing about it, if I ain't got nothing else, bitch, I got receipts on that. Let's wrestle. Uh huh. I'm going to wrestle to the ground tonight. You want to come for me? Let's wrestle it to the ground. Y'all get some here, laugh and kiki about Dolita and all this. And all hey, Dolita and all that. Say what you said about her. Let's start there first. Uh-huh. No fuck all that. Ain't no keeping a secret and all of that. Let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Let me add Dolita up here. And I need every bitch who says something about Dolita to come up here and see it. Because if not, I'm going to upload the screenshots. Is go do it. I'm going for tonight. Mama. Hey, my baby. They all was talking about your last Tuesday, but I said, I ain't going to say nothing. Because I don't want the mess. They said, so well, why would you need to go live with her? Why would you be acting like this? Keith, let me start with this. First of all, because I had got, for the most part, it was positive. But for, the, for another part, it was just a very small percentage. So let me just start here about how I even went live with her. That wasn't even my topic, right? My topic was, uh, it was about the girl messing with her. Uh, remember the girl that was on your live saying that that was her friend or whatever, whatever? And I'm going to just be transparent. She was like, yeah, um, cause, uh, you, you know, the girl who you had live when her friend Yada or whatever was messing yeah. with her boyfriend or whatever was Sean. Now, first of all, I don't want to sway from the subject. I know Sean. I know Sean Watson very well. I know Sean was my brother's roommate when he was in Texarkana in the penitentiary. And I had brought Sean's son up there to see him. Yes. Many a time. And I know Sean's mother, right? But that neither here nor there. So that was my only interest in it. I was just trying to see if that's Sean. But I've been knowing Sean for years, all right? So I was on there just talking about that. Somebody asked a young lady, said the young lady wanted to join your life. So that wasn't me. So first of all, Dolita, I, I don't need the cloud chase, right? There's no reason to cloud chase. I didn't know what to expect. You understand, Keith? Right. So when she went to telling the story, people was interested in it. Now, I'm going to just tell you this, right? I have been in a situation in the scope of my job where a young lady lied on her dad. Let's start there, okay? Where she lied on her daddy, her real daddy, this young lady was 15, and she was a client of mine. If you know me, you know where I work at, right? Mm -hmm. And she lied, and come to find out, she admitted later on that she lied. I never was against the mama. I don't know the mom, and I don't know the daddy. And if they told you correctly, they should have told you, my advice to her was that this too shall pass, Keith, that that's going to always Always be her mama, cause in my mind I'm saying I hope that they could work it out, right? That's, that's what I say. That's but that's what I say. There's so many words. Exactly, but that but was listen, my position on social, the whole listen, time. on social media. Say, say like with Yada and Glow, that happened. We went on live last Monday. We talked about it, girl. You hear no more about Yada and Glow. So we all were talking about this Tuesday. I say, oh, it'll be blown over. It's a week later. They were still rolling about it. Listen, I built my platform on the truth, right? And talking about what the fuck really going on. If I didn't talk about this, Key Carroll's show was over. Yeah, you hear me? They were saying, well, let me just tell you this. I was to step on the nobody's toes. Listen, the same time when you didn't wrestle it, they sent me a picture of you and them hugging in the club. And it was like, okay. Peter, you need to talk about it because Keith ain't going to talk about it because he's friends with him. There First of all, you and I text all the time. I never text you something, nothing. I, you know you and I, we text about a lot of stuff. I didn't say nothing about it. I didn't address it because I felt like it was a sensitive subject. So let's start there. But Keith, I had no interest in, I didn't need to get her on, but I was happy because maybe she can save someone. So let me just start here. 
What I said was, Keith, respectfully, now when you first got on the live, Keith, you was, in your defense, I'm going to say this, because the way you make an informed decision is to hear both sides of an issue, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and you can only, and this is what people get twisted, I can only, like people may say, tell you stuff about me, and I may tell you, they may say something about you to me, right? Right. But my position is, I have to judge Keith on his marriage with my relationship with Keith. Keith always been sweet to me, kind for me, send me something for my birthday. I don't know nothing else about you. If somebody said, girl, Keith be dragging for you. Like, really? I don't, but I got to judge you for that, right? So let's start that. But when you got on the live, Keith, it was like you was defending, you was being defensive for him. But that was before you heard the stories. Now, Keith, this is how I feel. Keith. It's nowhere in the world you can't believe them stories, son. If you don't believe her, Keith, all the women that came after them, Keith, it, those people didn't make that up, Keith. And listen, I don't even know dude. And this is this dude life, so this is very serious, right? Right. And I didn't know that this was going to go this far. But the bottom line is, Keith, in this order, first of all, if my daughter would have told me that, whether it was true or not, Keith, the nigga couldn't sleep at the house. From right there. Let's start there. I totally he, agree. He totally agree. Say that, Keith, at least, listen, do two things should have been considered. Do my daughter always lie? Is my daughter promiscuous? And like, why? I just would have been like, why would my daughter like say these type of things? Her daughter didn't have no history of that. Nobody ever said she was promiscuous. She had a video in her phone of her boyfriend. That's what girls do her age, right? She's a young child. Teenager, right? She got a picture. They didn't say multiple men. They say with her boyfriend. Keith, that's normal. That's her one boyfriend, right? right? When she the part that she didn't tell you that she told us the other night that her mama would lay there and make not make her allow her to massage Skip's feet. She said that for her. She said it. You don't think that's inappropriate? That's not her daddy. Keith. I think that's inappropriate. To me, to me, that's grooming her. For the next step, I wouldn't have never allowed that because that's not her daddy. Let's start there. Number two, she never changed anything from the allegations her daughter made, Keith, whether they was true or not. And I'm not perfect, Keith. I've been in and out. And different people raised my children. But Keith, one thing about it, none of my daughters has ever told me, this is what's going on, mama, and I didn't change it. Never. That never happened. And you are responsible, Keith, you have a moral obligation once he, now if you don't know, now listen, if this was happening, Keith, and she never told her mama, nobody in here could tell her mama nothing, because her mama could be like she never told her, but she told her, Keith, and right. what did she do different, Keith? She didn't change nothing. Keith, she didn't change nothing. It's like everything is still normal. They say the same night the live went on, the lady posted a picture saying, we in love and together sticking by my man like Keith. That you just add insult to injury. And this is something that's relevant. I want to tell you about them pictures that they sent. Let me tell you how relevant this is. And this is very serious. My grandson, who is a teenager, right? Him and his classmates, they have a group text, right? Mm -hmm. Group text. So some kind of way they had a little girl in their little group text. They all like 13, 14 in a little group text, right? They sent a sexual group text among some little kids, right? Among some little kids age appropriate the little girl was age appropriate do you know the police came out they said what happened was it's a crime because they sent the video of a little girl and it was circulating amongst the whole about six seven boys baby they, they called my grandson them and then interrogated them about that them people don't play about that shit right. but you just said and i have heard you on many occasions keith say oh i'm not sending no picture like that baby y'all didn't get me that because that shit is serious that is very serious very serious listen and they said I done said it before. Them cheering at them schools, at them high schools, sends me all kind of fucking all in the bathroom and all that. I ain't talking. I ain't showing it. So, I ain't going to jail, girl. You ready for this? They took everybody's phone in the class, every boy, and kept their phones for over three months while they was investigating. And ultimately, they decided that it was just some kid shit. But Keith, they very serious about that. So, of course, I'm shocked that her mama would send a sexual video, Keith, to somebody else to see. He shouldn't be looking at that. He shouldn't be going in her phone. I'm just saying, keep moms can't see. Like, what's wrong? And I don't know her. I can't judge her. But what her friends is saying, like, Pete, is just unacceptable. So the people 
they got on my live and they say that they feel like you was being biased because that is your friend. I don't even know. No, listen, they thought I was being biased because I never went live about it. But the Tuesday when y'all went live about it, I had Captain Charles Paul. First, let's start here. I went to work at 5 a.m. After work, I had to go to Captain Charles party. After Captain Charles party, I had to go to way to Baton Rouge to RV night. Captain Charles was in La Plaza. From La Plaza to Baton Rouge. I was busy. And I really go going live on Monday. So I'm like, well, you know what? It's going to probably blow over. When Monday got here, they were still rolling about it. Since I woke up for work at 4 this morning, they were saying, I know tonight we got to talk about it. If I wouldn't talk about it, like I said, I was going to get crucified to the cross. But you like, was already like, crucified because they had already said, oh, he didn't talk about that because they sent the picture of you, yeah, the mama, and Skip. And they I said, know. matter of fact, they even insinuated that y'all was out partying. That's why you wasn't, that's what they say, as if the picture was current. Like you was out partying with them. That's why you didn't want to address it. They was even, they got that's they got what they said to me. And I, I don't, that's what they sent the picture. I got the picture in the DM. They was like, see, Ms. Dolita, this is what I be telling you. Key be biased. He on the picture with her mama and Skip. They said you and Skip really tight. And uh, talking about they paid you off for something. And that's why you on their side. So I, that, I, I... That's big, huh? Key. Girl, listen, but and I uploaded pictures where I was at. I was at the, I was at the Captain Charles party with, with the all white. Girl, what's up? And then I went to the R&B night with the cut close people. The cut close people, 65 years old. Girl, what's up? What are they talking about? People say, listen, they're going to say anything. They're going to say anything. That's just what they do. So let me tell you. So, well, who is the mother? Let's talk about the mother won't get up here. Who the mother is? What her name is on here? Who? Oh, I don't know. Who mother in law? But let me tell you this. So, Sunday morning, when I was, I went live Tuesday. How about way Sunday morning, somebody DM me, this lady tell me, um, oh, yeah, the leader, uh, you was on live. Uh, you should have left the young lady. Uh, Something about, uh, in reference to, uh, I, I should have let the young lady handle that with her mom and all that. She just stole my whole joy, killed my whole joy. But that Sunday, I was like, listen, miss, first of all, I don't even know the young lady. I didn't solicit the young lady. That, I'm glad she came up there because in the end, the young lady told me that somebody came out, said, thank you for doing that. She was able to tell her mama she was being molested. So that's always the goal when it comes to stuff like that. You understand, Keith? Right. But the bottom line is, I don't care who likes who, I don't care who friends with who. Anybody who can't see that at the very least, at the very least, Keith, there's no way that he didn't do one of those things. It's too many different girls, too many different scenarios. Wait, a, a, a little girl in the sixth grade, Keith? In the sixth grade? Come on, man. Then they had another lady. You, she didn't come on there. She said that her daughter was really, really proactive. Skip asked for her phone name, not Keith. Why do you ask for a 16-year-old phone number? Why she sit on the No, not her. Huh? This another one. This another girl. See, you didn't see all the people that came forth. This was a 16-year-old. Right, that's her? No, this is her. How you doing, ma'am? The lady said that she gave the phone number. She Skip asked for her phone number. She immediately told her mama, and her mama text Skip like, what? Oh, yeah, I heard her. She said, I'm on here, y'all. Well, let's, let, let, let's, Mama, let's just do what she was. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, Mr. Lita, how you doing? I'm doing good. I wasn't Who, on. Who are you? I'm, I'm her boyfriend's mom. Oh, okay. I'm the person how that you doing, told the mom. Okay. Yes. Oh. First of all, I wasn't on the live when you were on there with Kiara the other, the other night. I was doing something, so I really don't know what happened. But I want y'all to know this. Kiara didn't send Keith the live to, to try to get on here tonight. She what did. I know is what I know is a lot of people was DMing her telling that telling her that Keith was gonna go live with her mama tonight. And her only thing to do was to get on here and defend herself. I asked her not to get on here and tell this story all over again because again, let me tell y'all something which y'all don't know. I spent a many a nights with Kiara calling my phone late at night crying about this situation. And this is before it hits the internet. Mm -hmm. She cries about the situation, and I have been dealing with this a year with her, okay? So this is nothing new to me. That's why I didn't want to join this live because, again, I hear this often. Mm -hmm. All right? So tonight was only supposed to be of her defending herself, not getting on here to tell the story all over again. Because what y'all have to realize, when this live ends, she's living in her reality with this. Right? right? Yes, right. She don't have her mama on her side, and I'm all she got when it comes down to listening to her. Right? Uh -huh. 
And like I said, when this story came to me from my son, remember, I have a child that I have, I have a bond with my children. So when it came down to Kiara telling my son, he bought it to me. When he bought it to me, it's nothing I'm not going to do for my children. Because again, I don't believe my children have to go run out there and lie and, and, and sneak and do things. As she stated, my son was on his way back to school, right? Mm -hmm. When all this hit the fan, my son was at school. And when he called me and said, Mom, remember, I just met Kiara like a week or two ago. So you got to remember, I'm going hard behind a child. I hardly even know. Right. But when you tell me that somebody has touched you, it's a, all bets off, everything out the window. This is a child I'm talking about, y'all. This is, well, you know, like with us. I don't care if y'all look at it that she was sexually active because none of us know what our children are doing when they're not around. Not at all. It is. So don't get on here, you know, like I'm reading a lot of comments. Like how, so you know, how you believe the ahead. child. Yeah. My yeah. thing is, what I said, it couldn't have been my daughter because I would have slammed him right then and there. So when I bought it to her mom, after I heard the story, you got to remember me speaking up as a mom is because, I remember, I'm protecting my son of all people mm -hmm. first. Because the first thing I'm going to hear is like a boy manipulating her mind, not knowing what type of child this is that I raised, right? Right. So my son bought it to me first. And when he bought it to me, he said, Ma, I'm going to bring Kiara to you to let her talk to you. So when Kiara came to my home, she was supposed to be at practice, like she said, no lies. He brought her to my home and we sat there and we talked. And after hearing, guess what my first question was? Do your mom have any other reason to believe that you would be making this story up? That's first. I ask that because, again, you know, I sometimes children cry out for attention. Mm -hmm. So my question was, I asked her that because I want to make sure that it's no other reason that your mom don't have, you know, to go against you behind this. I'm here for you because all I can do is believe it. You're telling it to me, right? I don't know you from Adam. But at the end of the day, so when she told me the story, I immediately, my heart went out to her. I also told her, you are loved, no matter what. If your mom want to tell you, I'm telling you. Because if my son brought you to me, he brought you to me to let me know that you need love. So guess what? I'm going to give you a hug first and foremost. No. And that's what I did. So um, after she told me the story, I said, okay, look. She kept saying that, um, you know, my, I just don't want, I don't want to hurt my mama. I don't want to hurt my mom. I said, let me tell you something. Mama going to be all right. This is about you. You know, so it was so much that was going on that she just was like, everything was her mom, her mom, her mom. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Everything was her mom. So you know what I told My son was in flames. He wanted to go knock on the door and get skipped, if you want me to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So you got to remember, my son bringing this to me, I have to intervene to make sure my child is all right. Because you go step in and now you involve involving your family. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... I, the only reason why, I, like I said, I'm not going to say only as though I didn't care about Kiara at the time, but remember, my heart is with my child at the time, so I have to make sure that he's not going to do anything to get himself in trouble. Right. So I intervene. I say, you know what? Maybe if I tell her, it's going to be woman to woman and mother to mother. You get what I'm saying? To where you're going to take it a little more serious and not looking at my son that he's just a nobody. He's just a, a typical nigga come and tell you something, you know, like about your daughter, quote unquote, that we're supposed to know, right? So... After hearing the story, they were um they were going back and forth. So Kiara um did go to driving school that day. She's not lying. And my son had called me. He said, "Okay, ma." He said, "I told Kiara I'm not giving her no more chances. We're telling." And I said, "Well, son, put me on three way." That's how that went. And I was on my way getting ready to go out the house. I stopped doing what I'm doing because remember, this is more important. Right. This is this girl. Lot. You know what I'm saying? She's talking about being molested. Mm -hmm. So. I said, put me on three-way, and I'll tell her first. And once I tell her, I can't speak up for you for everything because I was not there. But I'm going to go ahead on and try to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to ease the situation where you, you got your mom's attention now, right? So she was like, Mom, my mama, you know, if, if y'all could just get her attention, I'm going to finish, I'm going to finish. I said, Kiara, I got your back. Just get your mama, and I'm going to let your mama know that she needs to be by herself, Right? Talk, call to my mom on three-way. I don't remember if, I, if it was my son. It had to be my son called the number. Or maybe I called it. I don't remember. Called the number, and I talked to her, and I told her, I said, look, I need you by yourself. I said, no lies. I said, she was like, what's going on? What's going on? Remember, she don't know me. Remember, she only met my son a few weeks ago. So she don't know who, what type of woman she's dealing with. You know what I'm saying? So I told, I told her what was told to me. Well, at first I told her I needed about herself and she was you know she was kind of irate about like for what for what Kiara better stop playing with me I said no my baby I said this is serious 
I said, I really want you without your fiance. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, all right, all right, I'm by myself. Kiara was texting saying that she wasn't. She can tell her mom wasn't by herself. So she said, um, she was like, all right, what's going on? What's going on? I said, well, your daughter has been talking to me. And I said, I don't want you to be offended, feeling like she's coming to tell another person. I said, but as a woman, I'm coming to you because I'm not going to let it go no further. I said, and other than that, I said, my son bought it to me. So you know, I'm going to believe it. You know, so she was like, what's going on? I said, well, Kiara has been, you know, has told me that Skip has been touching on her. She was like, what? I said, well, yeah. I said, it hasn't been the first time for what I'm understanding. I said, but obviously he must have went a bit too far. Whatever has happened, I don't know. I said, but go and get your baby and you go have a conversation with her. Take her for a ride and go have a conversation. As far as I can tell y'all from what I know, uh, she went and picked Kiara up and, and he, she did, uh, Kiara did send my son a message showing that Skip was texting her. Just what she showed y'all. So remember, I'm not new to all this. I've been knowing since day one. Right. So um, she, she went and picked Kiara up, I believe. And then, uh, so remember, I think she had took the phone from Kiara, something like that, because I kept asking my son, because remember, he was at school. So I kept asking him, I'm like, what's going on now? What's going on, on now? So she was, he was like, Ma, I don't know. Kiara's not calling me. She's not saying anything. Lo and behold, when my son did talk to Kiara hours later, um, he was telling me how the conversation with that mama had her and Skip in a, in a room. And I was like, wait, what? Like, why does she even bring this to him? She was supposed to get more information from my child first. You see what I'm saying? But again, no, it's not here nor there. I'm telling you what I would have done. So I was angry at that very moment to know that you are putting your child in the, in the, in the face of the person that you're accusing that's doing something to you. So, and, and, and what I've learned is my son told me this. He said, mom, he said, I don't understand these people. He said, her mama just keep telling her that if he find, she find out she lying, she going to send her to juvenile. And this and that. I'm like, wait, what? So it was more of you're calling her a liar more than protecting her. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'll let y'all know this. I want to say it was maybe two days within that argument because Kiara had said that the next day her mama left her and the house would skip. Again, remember this. This is my son. He's emotional. He's, he's, he's all over the place because he feel like another, this is a grown ass man touching on a young girl, right? This, he's going by what he thought. So he's like, every, he's that mad. So I'm like, well, look, son. I mean, I don't normally do all this. Go get Kiara. Bring her here, right? Because mama don't want to protect her. I got to do what I need to do because now it's sad on my behalf to know what's going on and I don't intervene, right? Kiara has been living with me. Those two days after all that happened, Kiara will live with me a whole year, all right? A year. So this has been going on a year. I removed her away from that house. But it had nothing to do with trying to shit on her mama. I did what a mother should do. You yeah. get what I'm saying? I see that was the last line, but we have to go back at the roll again. Just be. Where the mom at? She got to come back. There she go. That's big, huh? All right, I'm back. I'm back, y'all. So, anyways, so what I was saying was, I see everybody saying, Ad, I'm in here, y'all. So, so what I was saying was, she has been living with me for an entire year until they got their own apartment, right? Right. So, I don't, people sending me messages. I'm not sure what they're saying, y'all. But anyways, I'll look at it when I get off. I'm not sure. Because um, I don't get on here and do all this. But right. I just want to clear up with Kiara because I don't want nobody to feel like she's dragging it, looking for attention. Not, because again, like I said, before I go back into my story, people was DMing her to keep saying that, oh, your mama gonna get on there and your mama talking about sending you to jail. First of all, I'm not getting into all that. So I talked to Kiara. I talked to Kiara the other day. My reason for talking to, talk to Kiara because you know how it go. If they upload anything about me, they go That's send it right. to me. That's so right. She, she uploaded statuses about because me. Th saying, I don't know listen, why y'all keep telling we knew me that, We knew that people were saying that you were going live with the mama. Remember, this situation escalated, what, a, a, a week ago? And you never mentioned it. You never spoke because on it. Because I go it. live on Mondays. I go live on Mondays, and this came out on Tuesday. Okay. 
But I was like, any other story, and I did say, I said, well, any other story, this is going to blow over. Right. It's but this is later. big because of who he is, and then you know what? Let me tell you what's making it bigger, and even for me, because I know nothing about Mona neither skin. Don't know them from a can of paint, right? Right. But what I tell you is this. Ever since Kiara spoke up, Kiara phone has not stopped ringing. I'm not going to lie on her. I'm not going to lie for her. Her right. phone has not stopped ringing, and it's unbelievable. But let me tell you what I told Kiara. I said, let me tell you something. Some people are going to try to take this and just carry it because of the situation. But there right. are some people. I said, everybody ain't going to be lying. I said, but this is what you do. Because it's going to make it seem like you're craving for attention. And remember, this happened a year ago, right? I've been there ever since then, since day one. I, so I told her, I said, if these people come into you, all the DMs and stuff that you're receiving, welcome to the police station. Because this is how it's going to be handled. You get what I'm saying? I say, because I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to have nobody bashing my son as though he did something wrong when he did what an average young teenager should have done. Mm -hmm. He bought it to his, his mom because he knew he couldn't take care of it. So he bought it to me because he knew I was going to try to push it and get more answers. That's what he did. All right. So don't sit up here. I don't want nobody to get on there and make it seem like my son did something wrong because remember, he only he's only a teenager himself. All right. They now share a child together and they have their own apartment together. And guess what? I still stay in my lane. But when it comes down to all this, and she calls me up every day about this, right? Mm -hmm. Kiara can't never say I bashed her mama other than she knows I don't have any... Com we on two different levels when it comes down to parenting and being a woman. You see what right. I'm saying? I'm not going to bash her because at the end of the day, that's still her mama. Y'all see how many times Kiara just got on here and said she loves her mama. She still loves her mama. Yes, and this she is did. what she's crying out for. Uh, from day to day, I talk to her. They're not in my home anymore, but from day to day, I talk to her. And every day, it's still, my. I don't know why she don't believe me. I don't know why. I don't know. Because I can't say, I'm not no money-chasing woman. I'm not hungry for money to be in your mama's shoes to feel like I got to go in on and go against my child for a dollar. Like I told Kiara, I said, let me tell you something. If any mother, I don't care what that man bring into her life, behind her child, she'll start over from scratch. Ain't Ain't about to sit up there and act like no dollar about to make me. And I'm not saying that's what our mama doing, but I'm telling you that's what Kiara always said. So I always told her, if it's, if she's a real mother, she gonna hit rock bottom behind her child. Ain't no man gonna sit up there and tell me that you gonna look me in my face and tell me, first of all, I ain't even gonna ask no questions about it. Because I have the type of child that my child come and say something to me, that's law. That's what it is. We standing on that. Straight to the police station, I want this nigga locked up to date. Because if, if another day go, he, he's dead. It is what it is. But I feel like that's what every mother going to feel behind a child. You get what right. I'm saying? So by Kiara not having that support, I'm her support. All hey, right? Kiara, Kiara, she never reached out to me. But she went to upload the statuses about me saying that y'all can stop tagging me and trying to get me on Key Care to help, help me because Key ain't going to help me. Because they were. I, they were, Key. Listen, she said, no, what she said was, about y'all can stop sending it to Keith or stop sending me Keith because Keith not gonna help him because he knows that's his friend. That's right. And it's not, and it wasn't, it was never nothing like that. He so knows I that, talked but everybody, to, but I talked to, to like Saturday or something. I talked to like Saturday or something. I was like, Kiara, I said, it's nothing like that. I said, I never really heard the, the, the story from you. I never heard the story. I said that, but whatever you want to do, we could do it. She said, she want to talk about it. I said, well, you know what? Monday dedicated to you. Let's roll with yeah. it. And that's just how it went. And supposedly she was only coming to defend herself. So when I seen her on here, I'm like, okay, your mama not on here. So don't get, you don't have to keep sharing your story whenever, like she said, everybody read it. You have to realize every time she's sharing with somebody, she has to relive it to tell it the way it happened. You get what I'm saying? So on, it's not that I'm angry from telling the story. But ma, ma, I think it's about to take a change. It's about to take a spin. Yeah, go ahead. I think it's about to take a spin. Let me let me add who, who who's requesting to come on. That's fine. I don't know what's going on. I swear I don't know what's going on. But I want to tell you, thank you for helping them. Yeah, I'm I'm here. If it was my child, her child, whoever it is, child, come bring it to me. I'm gonna do what's right. What I think it's right at the time. He asked him. He asked him to come on, and there you go. Now let's see. Who is this? Yeah, we can. Hey, what's up, Skip? All right. Oh, this is Skip. First of all, okay. Yeah, this is Skip. First of all, let me say this. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and discuss the, in detail going back and forth about the hour. Mm -hmm. But I came on because you got on there, and 
you speaking on a situation that you think my wife should have handled it, you wasn't there. So you don't know how my wife handled that situation. You went off of what Kiara told you. And Kiara, As I told, you, and Kiara told you number fucking lies. Because if, if, if you if you you say you was a mother and you was I a am. woman, at I the am. end of the day, when you called my wife, when you called her, and you told her what was going on, you don't know what she did or how she reacted. You only going on. I'ma say it again. I'ma say it again. Listen, I went you, from what Kiara. Hold on. Let me finish. I let you talk. I let you. I let you. Wait, say you're not gonna call me a lie. That's what we're not I, gonna do. You lied you're not gonna call me a lie. You lied once because you said you had Kiara son in your house for a fucking year, which you're lying. Kiara didn't even know your son for a year. Baby, my she, she, baby, she, baby, she, baby you, you, you never had Kiara at your house for no year. You never Kiara had Kiara with me for a year. year. You telling me I Kiara said, didn't stay with me for a year? I say you didn't have Kiara living in your house for a whole year. Kiara has lived in my house for a whole year, sir. But where yes, her sir. Dad and her AT was at, which she's lived by her daddy. Bring Kiara, Kiara up here. Bring Kiara up here. Listen, you must we, don't know what you're talking about, sir. Kiara lived lies. in my house for a whole Listen, year. We didn't heard enough lies from y'all, from you. you. We heard enough from but you. But first of all, so, you're only trying here. to wrestle me. You know I'm not going to do it. Let's get to it. Hold on. Let's get to it. Kiara, how long have you been waiting on? This is what I've been waiting on. Hold on. That's right. Grab with Kiara. I'm not going to talk to Kiara. No, this is what I've been waiting on. This is what I've been waiting on. I'm not going to talk to Kiara. No, no. I'm going to talk to you. It's me and you now. Yeah, it's me and you now. I got some. Listen. It's me and you now. Listen. 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 Anyways, let me get on. Let me get on the um. First of all, I was mm -hmm. staying with his mama for a year. Listen, I just moved in this apartment three, four months ago, right? I've been staying with these people since like the very, very end of March, all the way till three months ago. Now, if you don't know how to count, I don't know what to tell you. But it's been a year because you have to realize. I was staying with them for my birthday last May. I was, I had just, my birthday just came in May. Just came in May. I just moved in this apartment. Since that happened, not even two weeks, I was staying with her. Because after, and then, then he's sitting up here, he won't get up here and check my mother in law, she don't know how he handled it. Baby, I ain't say nothing but lies. Let's get, let's, 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 let's really get to it. It's facts. And she could get on here and say what she did. What did she do? Nothing. What? What? Like, what? What do we mean? What do we mean? Let, let, how? How did I tell her nothing but lies about how? Listen, he he's getting on here. Home. First of all, Kiara, hold on. Let's like, hold, hold let that thought. Him, like, hold that thought. Let, let me tell you something. To look me in my face. Yeah. Well, first of all, you're gonna try to get on here and wrestle me when I ain't trying to do nothing. But like I said, it's either I'm gonna bring it to the light, or at the end of the day, I was gonna make sure to see if Kiara was lying. Don't get on here and wrestle me and say good. Kiara didn't. You didn't live with me for a year, Kiara. This man saying you didn't live with me for a with year. My I started like, standing my mother-in-law right after it right, happened. Not even two yes. weeks later. Two days. I, you've been living here ever since. Like, Kiara, he Kiara said, was applied for my house. Been, Kiara graduated said, from my house. Yes, everything at my house. Then he said, I have not been knowing her son for a year. Me and her son been together for a year and what, four months? First of all, Oh, what do I have? What am I going to gain or lose getting on here and lie? I'm and not going to lie. I have no reason. Let me tell you something. For him to think he coming on here and wrestle something with me, live. that's when you're going at the wrong, you're so barking up the wrong tree with me. Not, Let me tell you something. Hold on. Maybe it took me to get on here to bring him to the light because I don't have a reason to lie on Skip. I don't have any reason to lie for Kiara. I'm speaking as a woman, as a mother, as to what I do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You get what I'm saying? Hold on. I don't have no reason. You live oh, with me for a year, fat. For From that point on, on hold on. Say, for him to get on here and say how my mama should have handled it, he only agreed with how she handled it because she didn't handle shit. You but then, okay, so like, hold on. Why are you on here? Let's be clear. Uh, uh, did you or did you not tell us that your mama left you in the house with Skip after that? She did. Showed okay. Me. Did you or did Showed you not? And didn't okay. tell you all that. Let's be clear because, I, I mean, again, he want to wrestle as though I'm lying and about did. the situation. Because he did. He okay. opened the door for me, and when he opened that door for me, I looked at him like he was crazy because I was wondering where my mama was. And let's get into it. You're going to say I told mama nothing but lies. Did she put you out that night? No. 
Did she take it to the, she take me to the police report? No. Was you in there? The piss me off. I had to leave? Yes. Did you open the door for me the next day because mama left me in there with you? Yes. So what is handling? How is that handling anything? All I did was come forward and tell them and they told my mama. And when That's they told all mama, I did. He was on game about it. So I'm just trying to figure out he only agree with how she, and then you can get on here and you can chew. Nigga, I hate you. For you to get on here and chew a sandwich, like you just vibing and you talking about you don't want to talk to me. Nigga, if I was lying, why I'm so eager to talk to you? I want you right here. Like I told him, me and you know what you did. Get on here. Get on here. Because you don't have no story to tell. Because your story, it was in crumbles back then. It was bits and pieces of stuff you was trying to lie. So you have no story to tell. And for you to get on here and try to check somebody talking about it was lies and this, that, and the third. What was lies? What did she do? I would love for y'all to get up here and plead y'all case. Like I told him, I'm going to let you know. Speak your truth, sir. And but listen, no, I only got up here because, like I said, I read well, comments saying as though you're screaming well, out and you're trying to get attention and it's that. Didn't I tell you no, what I told not, you? Trying to get attention. I, I think she crying off. She, she wants her mom. What's surprising but to me to is, and like I, I said it to her, what's surprising for me is when a person is mad, I'm going to roll you out. If I'm mad at you, I'm going to roll you out. She's still saying she love her mama. and That's correct. Her mom is a good mom. She had a good I life. Know. That's I big. Know. You see him? That's big. You see him? Oh, oh yeah, most definitely. And then for you to get on here, girl, like, do people not see this? Is people not watching what I'm watching? Because if somebody lied on me, baby, I'm going to remember what happened. She, I'm going to tell my story. Even, she even, I got to give it to her. She even got her here and said Skip did a lot for her in her life. Since he's been in her life, she did a lot for her. She did that. For, so I don't understand. Let me tell you something. From what I oh, yeah. have been around here, I, I, I could tell y'all some shit that has nothing to do. I could tell y'all some shit that I feel like Kiara should have never no. Even entertained. But at the end of the day, that's still her mom. You get what I'm saying? Because let me tell you, all they do is ask her what I tell her. I say, you know what, Kiara, when you really look at it, your mama is your trigger. Because every time she try to reach out to her mama to try to build a better relationship, ask if I ever came in between it. She's in my home. Remember, remember the reason why you're over here. She's in my home still trying to build a relationship with her mama. Ask if I ever came in between that. Have I, Kiara? No. Never. Never. No, I'm not no, never going to be my mama no matter okay, how I, I feel. Kids and family, my boyfriend family always told me, I was the one saying I would never talk to her again in life. Them people always told me, that's your mama. That's you still your mama. mama one day. And I, did not, and I did not want to do it. But then my love for her wouldn't let me stop trying until she looked me in my eyes and told me she's 100% on his side. That's when I stopped trying. Now I'm over it. And, and guess what else I, I told her? But let me tell you something, Keith. This is what I told Kiara. I said, let me tell you something. I can't go to the police and speak to you, speak for you. But if you know that this has happened to you, you go, you stand on what you said, stand on what happened, and guess what? You're going to have negativity come your way. You're going to have a whole bunch of people that's not going to believe you. But I don't you know what happened. I don't know what happened. I can't go and, and say it for you. But guess what? Stand on what you believe in. You got people that backing you just like you got people that's against you my son for one i know is backing her and since he's backing her i got his back that's how that goes so when you go to the police when she told me the other well last week i guess it was when she went to the police station she called me at midnight the only thing i do know is she went to her mama's house that day because i was supposed to have the baby and she said i'm gonna bring the baby over there by my mama because my brother's getting out of jail okay Remember, I talk to Kiara every day. Right. So she said, my brother's getting out of jail. And I say, well, what kids got to do with that? She said, because I'm going to bring my brother, my, bring my baby to see my brother. Yeah, brother. She said, over there by my mom. And I was like, by your mama? Because I know she hadn't been talking to her mama behind everything that she told you. So that night, I had to talk to Kiara all that day. So um, that night, she okay. called me at midnight. And she was like, my, it's just been a very long day. She was like, I'm hurting. I'm upset. And I'm like, what now? You know, because it's always something with it. With it. So I was like, what now? You know, woke me out of my sleep. So she said, don't you know? She said, I kept getting my brother to try to bring up the situation. She wanted her brother. And I, I really feel like this. I don't know if she said it on the line because I wasn't, I couldn't hear everything earlier. But I feel like she felt like she has more support now. So now she can kind of like move forward. You remember, we support her, but we only like the in-law family. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. There's nothing like having your mama there. So 
When she said she kept trying to bring it up to her mama, she told me the whole story. She said, I just kept trying to bring it up to my mama, and my mama brushed me off. She said, once I said what I said, and my mama told me she was with Skip 100%, she was like, okay, you hold his hand while he going to jail and this and that. And I was like, okay, Kiara, like, y'all still at it. Not saying I didn't want to hear it, but you got to remember, it's overwhelming here in the whole year. You get what I'm saying? A whole year and nothing is being done. I'm not saying I want the man to go to jail, but if he did it, that's where he's supposed to be at. But only Ki Kiara can put him there. You get what I'm saying? Right. So now that Kiara has spoke out, y'all would not believe the inboxes and the messages this girl is getting, the calls. All I can say is if it's really happening, these girls have to come forward. Don't call you because calling you is not, he say ain't gonna make the job happen. This one talking that one talking no y'all got to talk to the right people to make it happen he could be mad at me all like, all he wants but guess what i'm sure i'm saying with the other fourteen thousand women on here saying too if he did it his ass need to be locked up but these girls that's calling kiara don't need to be calling kiara they need to go call a detective that kiara has filed a report with then we're gonna talk about something other than that i don't want to hear about the shit no more because it's just a whole bunch of things in the air that's nothing is being done kiara has other people reaching out to her saying that they're contacting this one. They're con Kiara ain't saying all this on her own. There's people reaching out to her saying, remember, this is a, Kiara, what, 19 now? This is a 19-year-old girl that don't, let me tell you something, when I met her, she didn't know what to do on her own at all. She was really sheltered under her mom. So you got to remember, it's like, not today, my heart, I was re-raising a child all over again because she don't know what to do without her mama. So when you lose your mama, she was just lost. That's just bottom line. And Kiara, no, I'm not going to say anything to make her look bad because I gave her her flowers. I told her, even after all this, she has grown. I gave That's her flowers why too. she can talk the way that she is because I have encouraged her so much. Not as just about being, about having a bad mom because whatever your mama did, don't let that define who you are now. You have a daughter to raise and you be the best mother that you can be to your daughter. You get what I'm saying? So that's why she can say all that she's saying right now. She has courage. She has that, that motivation. She has that love that she knows that she was missing to be able to do that. Now she needs these girls to come forward and do what she's doing. That's it. Bottom line, she don't need to get on live no more about nothing. She don't, I mean, skip home. So I guess it's going to be a whole bunch of chaos right now. I don't know. But Kiara don't need to get on there talking to nobody. If nobody's going to help her and bring the situation to the light, as, you know, saying that it happened to them, she don't need to be talking to nobody. Nobody because all it's doing is sitting this girl 10 steps back every time I try to push to bring her forward not to act like it didn't happen but there's life after it happens and that's what I want her to do is live live your life be, be all that you can be because whatever's going to happen is going to happen right around Kiara mm -hmm. yep. that's it put all that love into your child and guess what she got to know I don't care who don't like it if, that's, if I feel my grandbaby is in any harm's way, she ain't going. Bottom line. Because it's, the story going to end a little different behind mine. So no, I don't feel that she's going to make a decision as a mother, but she got to know that she got to make a better decision if she feel her mama failed her. Then. That's it. I'm not trying to wrestle with nobody because me and her mama have never had fuss no matter. We have ill feelings toward each other. We're women at the end of the day. And I'm a mother, so so guess what? I have to make sure that I keep my son calm at all times because at the end of the day, then I'm going to be fighting behind my child when it don't make no sense. Why I'm fighting behind my child when she's not even fighting for her daughter? Like, what is what, what, what we talking about? So I got to keep my son in a man's spot. You see what I'm saying? Men don't get on that fuss for women. So I'm not going to let my son belittle himself or stoop to another level when it had nothing to do with him. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? So don't back as him because I'm coming in behind him. But at the end of the day, I feel like as long as he stay cool, I'm, in a, I'm on a back side. I don't have nothing to say. I don't dislike anybody. I just don't like the way it was handled at all. That's period. That's it. I feel you. you get what I'm saying? That's it. So for him to think he coming on there saying I'm lying, lying how? You don't know how many phone calls I got from people that saying they going. You know why people didn't know what was going on in my home for with Kiara? Because I didn't run around telling the story. You get what I'm saying? Well, I'm not again, running around so trying to embarrass to, this child. That goes back to what I was saying. If it's, if nobody knows what's going on inside, you probably walked outside, like you said, talk to your friends, whoever the case may be, and nobody never known what never you knew. were dealing with inside your house. And that's all, that's the only point I was trying to prove. 
That's all I was trying to prove. You see people outside, we laugh, we joke, we clown, and we go home. We face our reality when we go home. And that's, that's what that right. situation was. None of us would have never known anything if Kiara would have never spoke out. She spoke out. So trying to say, because... how do you pick a side? Why would you? Why would I do have to pick a side? Like, why well, do Keith, anybody they, have to they pick a side? They said you picked a side because, again, like you said, you explained yourself when you said that you went live that Monday and she this exposed that Tuesday. Tuesday. This came out Tuesday, yeah. You know, so everybody was like, Keith ain't wrestling that one, which is, that's how we all felt. But Kiara uploaded the status and... I, Stop me when I'm like here. I called, I reached out to her and I'm like, Kara, it's not like that. Like, I didn't even know what was going on. She was, right. And guess what? She could have went off the rocker. She was very respectful. She was like, no key, is nothing like that. I just felt as though you wouldn't hear my story, hear me out, or talk to me because that's your friend. I said, Kara, it's nothing like that. I said, Monday will be dedicated to you and we here today. What's up? You see what I'm saying? It was nothing like that. It really was nothing like that. Mm -hmm. you know, and the thing is, when I had came out of body, well, you gotta realize my mama told me not to say nothing when it when it had first happened. She didn't want me. She'll click out. She remember on the phone with Kenton. If she heard me like talking about it, she'll click out. So mama told me not to say nothing. But like after the situation, I wasn't calling people, telling people. She was calling people, saying, "Girl, let me tell you, let, let me tell you how key I relied on Skip." She even ran into my sister. Me and my sister wasn't even talking at the time. And this is my daddy's daughter. This is not her child. She ran into my sister. My sister ain't ask her nothing about Skip. Ain't ask her nothing about nothing. My sister didn't even know this was going on. She just, keep in mind, this was before the internet, before all that. Nobody knew. She ran into my sister. My sister telling her, how you doing? She telling my sister, oh, because, you know, your sister lied on skipping. Not lying. Like, you going around trying to tell everybody your daughter lying so you could beat, you know, you could Correct. get to them before okay. I can. And so I was like, like, and so it's like, I'm trying to get to you, and you're trying to get to other people to say I'm lying. So I got tired of that because when I went tried to talk to you, you told me you're on his side 100%. And then my thing is this. he It's like he control. That's why I say it's deeper what I, I think it's deeper than what it is. Because for him to get on him, my mama ain't get on him. My mama ain't get on him and say, she told you. My, my mama ain't get on him and say nothing. You speaking for my mom. Why are you speaking? Mom ain't no one that can. Why are you speaking for her? Why are you getting on here speaking for her? But what she did, she should. But what I want to know is what part I said that was a lie. What I lied about that you didn't live with me for a year. What are we talking about? Like why how he how how, how girl, you agree with how she handled the situation because you didn't go to jail and you slept peacefully that night like nothing happened and you stayed in that house comfortably. I ain't never hit my he kept hitting me and my mama fuss. I ain't never hit him and my mama fuss after I said that. Never, never heard them fuss. It was always quiet. But every time she came. My room, or oh, it was an argument. It was a, it was back and forth. And then my thing is, did you get on here chewing a breakfast sandwich, mm -hmm. talking all cocky, but you want to address the situation? Somebody lying on you, address, tell your story, address the situation, and that's just that. But no, you talking about you don't want to talk to Kiara? What you? Want? I bet you don't want to talk to Kiara because Kiara gonna get on you because you remember Kiara remember every single detail. So anything you say, I'm gonna clear it up. Anything you say, it sounds stupid because you you don't want people to ask you why you went through my phone you don't want people to ask you. what's that was that not the first question that i asked you i said well you telling me he had your phone but why would he have your phone going through your phone yes why did you go through my as a man as a but, I be, man? but besides that i'm trying to figure out why like what, what was the reason that he going through your phone like what i'm talking about like i guess did y'all have a fuss and you been and you go on and said you're on your phone and he like let me see who you call no, like, nothing so just out the blue he just can't him, got the phone that's crazy nothing to me. nothing it was wow. nothing. me and him ain't get into it nothing like nothing nothing at all i think that man was just going through my phone and now i see like i think that man was just going through my phone to see what i had in there like because cause he knew you gotta realize it was already a situation with my mama like where she thought she saw my phone machine so, so i think he wanted to see and he went and he looked at it and then later on boom but like i said bad timing i said something and now you're using it against me I am, I'm gonna ask them, to somebody else trying to get in key because no they, 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 they tell me they're saying hey skip but skip ain't gonna get up here with you oh. like, come on now, it's too, i was about to say because i'm not gonna be on here fussing too. with him because i again if i wanted to push it I'm, but i'm not gonna push something i was not there for i'm just gonna support her while she going because right now she's 19 she can move on her own you get what I'm saying? So she just needs the support. And that's not saying nobody in her ear saying, go do it, go do it. Because she knows she could have been did it. But what it was, I just think, if you ask me in my heart, I feel like since her brother came home, it's like all bets was off the table because she just became somebody different. It was like, she was sent toes down after that. Remember, I wasn't in nobody's ear. I just got the call when she said she went and did it. 
I say, okay, now you got to be ready for whatever because it's coming. The heat gonna get turned up. You gotta remember that. It's not, you got a lot of people on your side, but remember, you, I don't know what your mama telling people, but that's not, that should be the least of your work. Because if it happened, you stick to what happened. I was at first. Don't like, let that, don't let that rewrite your thinking. That's all I tell her. I don't never give Kiara discouraging words. When she's crying, I tell her, guess what? You, you still gotta pray, you gotta ask God for peace. You gotta ask for comfort at night because at the end of the day, nobody's in there with you. Nobody knows what you're going through. I'm there, but I can still only just be a guidance to you. I can pray for you when you can't pray for yourself. But at the end of the day, I'm not about to sit up there and bad mouth her mama and I don't have nothing to say about Skip. All, all I know is if it was my child, you know one thing, it wasn't no talking. That's it. Even if you had to separate the two until you get down to the bottom of it, that's what you do. I didn't say, I'm not trying to say knock the man, you know, whatever. Whatever, whatever however people going to handle it, they handle it. But what I'm saying is you got to separate the two because that's big. That's a big allegation. That's not nothing that you take lightly. Mm -hmm. And that's not what happened. So if it looks like that I overstepped my boundaries, I did. First of all, like I said, I'm a woman person. I'm a mother above all. Guess what? I'm protecting my son so you know about my daughter. And I had to make sure I put my hands and protect somebody else's child. You get what I'm saying? So, no, I'm not looking for no pass on the back because I've been doing, I'm a year in this, almost two years in this. I'm glad that she's just, just growing. She's growing and she's she's growing, trying to get past it. But for some reason, every time her and her mama get mad, she go right back like she so never Kara, you haven't talked to You haven't talked to your, mom, to your mama or Skip about this situation at all. What you mean? I mean, they haven't reached out to talk to you about this at all. Ever since I posted right. this? People keep sending me messages. No, not to mention everybody that my mom is cool with with me. Everybody that like that's on my side, my mama cuts off. Like she, she don't want nothing. She don't. Want... I just find it weird that he got on here to talk for her. You ain't got to clear your name for what you getting on here for. Why you talking for that grown woman? I don't get it. But I mean, it's just a lot of stuff that I don't get about him. Like I don't understand. Like what is wrong? Like. But like, I mean, you don't have to. Like I said, it's 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 what it is. The only thing, like you said, all you can do now, yeah. move forward with the police, whatever it is, and the young ladies that you are yep. speaking with, y'all y'all just do whatever you do. But to from sit up there and just keep dragging it and dragging it, it's no need to drag it because you've been dealing with it for a year. You brought it to social media now. Again, who's who's gonna help? Uh, it's gonna help. They're gonna step up and they're gonna help. But other than that, it's no need because it's not like you're saying anything new that you haven't said since day one. Mm -hmm. You have repeated the story the exact same way. Yes, she took a lie detector test. Let me tell you, I don't even know if you even said the part with your dad when it, when your daddy took you there. Yeah, I okay. did. When it came down to her dad, I spoke with him the same way. Remember, I don't know these people. Well, I know her mom because I've been in the face of mom. But her dad, I couldn't tell you what daddy looked like if I if I had the face and face on. I don't know it. Not that I'm trying to meet him because it, it it is what that's his that's our parents. But what I'm saying is, even when I spoke with her dad about the lie detector test, and he was like, because Kiara don't want to take it. I said, no. What it is Kiara is saying is she don't want to go to the same person. That's what she keeps saying. She said she would be glad to take it. Take us somewhat different. That's all she kept saying. He said that they said there was nobody else that they can go to. That was what so she said. Saying. There was nobody else to here to do it. And I was like, well, see, I did no more than me. I don't know. Remember, I'm not trying to overstep my boundaries with her parents because now I felt like it was she was going to get more, you know, support because her daddy was in it now. So daddy took her to the same person. Well, let, let, let's add Skip on here to see what, what Talk he Talk to say. Skip. Let me, let me go. Because I don't want to get into it because then my family going to be on it. I do. I do. I know you want to get into it, man. Hold on, I man. This bitch going to trip it.
I'm trying. I sent it. I know, Ashley. I know. Because they're reporting it now. It's saying he's unable to join. I'm adding. This ain't unable to germ. He didn't worry about a motherfucking thing. Hang up. I'm going right back live. As soon as they hang up, I'm going 